Hello everyone. Follow me to quickly create a geometry node that allows you to quickly and delicately place models in any scene just like painting. Say goodbye to the tedious task of placing objects one by one and make modeling more efficient and enjoyable. Let's get started. Here's the basic content of the scene. A barren hill and groups of rocks and trees. Let's create this geometry node. Select the hill in this scene. Create a geometry node. Create distribute points on faces. Add a join geometry node to merge the hill and the distributed points. Since these points do not have materials, they won't be visible in render mode. Replace these points with the group trees. Then, I need the ability to customize the models externally. So, I'll put this collection to the outside and select tree B. Change the distribution method to Poisson disk for better control. Adjust the density factor to generate trees at an appropriate density. Set the max density to a suitable value. Next, create a texture and use texture painting to place trees and adjust their sizes. Separate the channels. Use the R channel to control the density factor. Use the G channel to control the size of each tree. Now, since the current texture map is empty, connecting it might make the trees disappear. Make sure the hill has proper UV mapping. Bring in the UV coordinates. Also enables it to be selected externally. Now, go to the Material Editor. Duplicate the ground to draw textures on it. Create a basic material. Create a texture for placing tree B models. Adjust the paintable mesh below the hill for reference while painting. Because the model used to draw is a copy of the hill, so delete the geometry node on this model. Otherwise, overlapping trees will be drawn. Click this pin to pin the geometry node panel down for possible additional adjustments. Select the tree B texture created previously. Then I can start drawing. Red controls density. Paint it, but the tree did not come out. The reason here is to use pure red to paint. But G channel is still empty. At this time, the scale value of the tree is zero, so it cannot be seen. Choose a color between the R and G channels and try again. The tree is out. Now I can easily place trees with precision. Adjust the color towards green to control their size. Change the blending mode to darken and lower the brightness. This can shrink trees. Adjust the intensity for finer tuning. By adjusting the above settings, I can arrange the scene as easily as painting. Next, add another node to randomize the rotation of the tree. Just need to rotate the z-axis of the tree. Put the seed outside for easy adjustment.
simply organize the nodes. Group this section with Shift plus P. Duplicate this group for drawing tree G. Here we need to delete the output node and edit again. Otherwise, it will not appear automatically on the panel. Next, create a texture for tree G and connect the corresponding nodes. Then, paint the tree G model on the Frapaint mesh. Here I forgot to select the tree G texture. We can draw it in the rendering view to better control the composition of the render. Next, repeat the same steps to draw the stone. We can repeat these steps to add more models as needed. The initial creation of the geometry node may be complex, but we can import this node into other projects for future use. No more placing objects one by one. Finally, when you have finalized the final look of your scene, remember to save these textures. Make sure the file format is open extra and color depth is full. That's all this video is about. I hope this video inspires you. If you have any questions, please tell me in the comment area. Thank you for watching.